Okay, so a bit like the barley video, I'm just going to show a quick video on uh, catch crop. Uh, this isn't exactly kale, it's uh, rape and uh, tillage radish is what we're sowing. So this is the first step here. Um, we're fertilizing the field with organic uh, fertilizer, which is pig slurry. Uh, we're just spreading the slurry on the stubbles. This field was in spring barley, so it's a bit of a rotation. Um, and what we're doing directly behind the slurry tanker is disking in the slurry to uh, prevent uh, volatilization and put as much of that nitrogen from the pig slurry directly back into the ground. So that's all we did was disk it. And after we disk it here, here's my two bags of seed. So the black bag is a bag of tillage radish. And the reason I decided to use tillage radish as a catch crop is it has a long taproot and it will break up pans of uh, compaction and it's good for the soil, um, all that compaction will be solved. And the reason then I used, it's actually rape and turnip mix, uh, is for there'll be sheep grazing this land in the winter. So that's why we can see there, there is the turnips and the forage rape. So that is our uh, three crops that are going in. Uh, it's all for sheep feed and uh, good for the ground as well with the tillage radish. And we sown that just with the fertilizer spreader. So it's after it's dist. We just went in with the fertilizer spreader afterwards and spread the seed uh, with one bag of 18, 6, 12 to the acre. Uh, here we have an example of some pests. There was uh, some flea beetle back there, evident. But overall, the crop established very well. Um, this is the same field you see in the start of the video that was being discarrowed. Uh, all the different plants there. You have your turnip, your rape, your radish. And uh, here is actually an example of a turnip that is growing. So these are just catch crops. It's not exactly kale what we're doing in class, but it is a catch crop. So it's the same uh, the same principle. And uh, it will be grazed by sheep. You can see there is some nutrient uh, def uh, deficiencies evident there and some uh, pests. The nutrient deficiency is the yellowing in the leaves. And we can see that they're being grazed. And most likely by the flea beetle, I think we established at the time, it was that was uh, the pest that was grazing uh here afterwards uh the sheep this is a 15 acre field there was 120 yos let into it to graze it they got about two weeks grazing at this stage uh, it looks like it's fairly well grazed down but they actually got another about week and a half after this uh grazing the rest of them uh stalks so uh they have it eaten well down to the ground there's an example of a radish there see the radish has a long tap root it goes through any uh, layers compaction so compact fields ideal radish is perfect for solving drainage issues which will also uh, reduce uh, pests such as liver fluke and that with improved drainage so that's the end of the video really uh, we just see here it's all grazed down after um, it's been grown uh, there's another radish here on the ground and uh, just shows you how deep they can drain down. That's about eight inches of drainage.